Resident Evil 4 Remake is the latest entry into the survival horror action series Resident Evil. The game follows Leon Kennedy a few years after the events of Resident Evil 2 and 3 as he tracks down the president's kidnapped daughter to a small village in Spain. The original game is known for innovating the action genre and pivoting the Resident Evil series away from its much loved survival horror roots. While the series in recent years has returned to its origins with the well received remakes of 2 and maybe slightly less so 3, and the latest sequels in 7 and Village, RE4 Remake is a perfect blend of styles showcased in its fantastic close quarters combat and excellent boss fights and action sequences. I previously ranked the original Resident Evil 4 on this channel in our video ranking the Resident Evil games from worst to best. You can check that out by clicking the card in the top right corner of the video. And in that video, I placed Resident Evil 4 at number 5 on my list, which to many might seem like quite a shock to have such a fan favourite game so low. My reasons being that after replaying the game, I felt the controls were outdated and the game just didn't hold up as well compared to newer games in the series. While that was probably a harsh assessment on my part, I did want to review the placement alongside the RE4 remake, obviously just released, and now is the best time to do so. I believe the remake blows the original out of the water, and that's a huge compliment by the way, as it should considering this was a second chance to turn a fantastic game into an even better one. If I were to place the game on the list, Recency bias aside, it would probably come second between the now third place Village and first place which I consider to be the reigning champion of remakes of any game series and my personal favourite Resident Evil game, Resident Evil 2 Remake. Now I want to explore why I believe it deserves that place on the list. As I have previously stated, the original Resident Evil 4 struggled to hold up well against recent games due to its outdated controls. That's quite a normal thing to expect for a game that is <laughs> of its age. This includes issues as well with its camera that many considered to be a nightmare to use. Resident Evil 4 Remake however is near perfect in its controls and camera, opting for more of an over the shoulder camera angle that we've seen in recent third person action games and completely overhauling the controls, even going as far to introduce a parrying system that is the perfect addition to a game such as this. Now I have my biggest grievance with the original out of the way, let's talk graphics. Not much really needs to be said here, it's a remake of a game that came out in 2005. If the graphics weren't improved then I'd be shocked. The game is stunning to say the least and while there are some issues with in-game models looking worse than the cinematics show, it's hardly an issue that takes away from the game. We'd also be amiss here to not discuss the sound in the game. The atmospheric additions are greatly felt and while the original wasn't bad at all, I felt more immersed in this version due to how well designed the sound was. I won't dwell too much on those aspects as a lot of that was expected. What we really need to discuss is the story and gameplay, and how different the game is from the original. At this point, it's been a while since my last playthrough of 4, but there is a distinct tone difference in the remake. The original game rode the line between absurd action and survival horror, and while that's not entirely missing from the remake at all, there's a distinct grounded and serious tone on display here. There are some gameplay sequences clearly missing or entirely changed from the original, uh, one of which being the chase sequence with Salazar's statue, which is instead replaced by a less QTE-centric sequence. For those that don't know what QTE stands for, it's quick time events. And that's just it, QTEs. They no longer exist in the remake which in itself is a blessing. Uh, many of the sequences in the game have been completely changed to accommodate this fact, which is the reasoning behind sequence changes like the statue chase. I personally see this as a positive change as it shifts the focus onto the actual gameplay and away from just button mashing, but again that's just a personal preference. 
other notable changes include the removal of a boss fight with U3, which we may see return down the line in a rumoured Ada Wong DLC, and there are fewer interactions with the main villains in the remake. Now, that removal is a definite negative for me. The remake removes a lot of the fun banter and dialogue between Sadler and Leon throughout the game, a sacrifice that I assume was made to keep the tone of the game in the style they were going for, but it ends up making Sadler a less interesting villain than he was in the original. This is probably my biggest issue with the remake, and while not totally detrimental to my experience as a whole, it did leave me a little dissatisfied when all was said and done. I wouldn't want my special guests on the island feeling unattended. Guess I'm supposed to thank you, right? Ah, I have an idea. Since you're here, why don't I introduce you to it? It should keep you busy. Can't remember the name, huh? A senior moment, perhaps. Oh, oh. <laughs> Enjoy the fun. However, not all character changes are for the worse. In fact, I would argue that the game is elevated by the improvements made to both Ashley and Luis. What do you think? We could protect the US from any and all threats. Is that right? Well, either way, first we have to make it out of here. <laughs> You're no fun. Ashley feels like less of a liability throughout the game and can even climb down ladders without needing assistance, which is a miracle all on its own. <laughs> She's just overall a more interesting character and has some great dialogue with Leon throughout the game. And she's a character that I'd love to see return in the future, even though it's unlikely the way the series has been heading. Luis is more interesting and it's good to see the character grow throughout the game for him a much needed improvement, even though he was good in the original, just character growth and development is something I love to see in games, especially remakes like this, and it really elevated my opinion of these aspects of the game. Then come Sancho Panza, let us rescue the Princess Dulcinea! You're gonna hurt yourself. Hey, that was my dance. Okay, we hurry, I get it. So that's where I sit with Resident Evil 4's fantastic remake. It's one of the best games in the series, and one I highly recommend that any fan pick up as soon as possible. There's certainly a reason the game sold over 4 million units, I believe, in just two weeks. Now, what's left to discuss? Where does Resident Evil go from here? If you check back soon on the channel, uh, we will discuss what the next steps are for the Resident Evil series. I have a video all planned out, and if you're a fan of the Resident Evil franchise, I'm sure you'd love to engage in the dialogue that we're going to have. So thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more content just like this.